today. It's just too pretty to be inside. So I set up a table outside my shop here and I'm going to see if I can't do this holster video outside. So let's see if I can get it to work out for me. Let's see if the shadows be too weird here, but we'll find out. Okay, I think this might work out. We'll see. I have my trusty Block 19 here. Uh, been cleared to work with and I do have a baggie I'm going to place it in to protect it from the moisture and basically what I'm doing here is I have wet down my leather you can see how pliable it is this this thick leather you have to really get it heated up some hot water there so it will uh, be pliable but what I'm trying to do is uh, make a holster and got my little cheat sheet here. Just the one I printed off of the, the web there. The interwebs as Mad Bad Voodoo likes to say. But um, So what I'm trying to do is decide what my shape is going to be like. And uh, I went to the uh, Handy leather, and I bought a belt, some belt material also, uh, just for this holster. The goal here is to uh, to have a, a range holster that's already on a belt, a leather belt that I can just take, and when I get to the range, just wrap it around and clip it on, and it'll be real easy. And then when I'm done, just take it off and toss it in the back of the truck. So. Uh, that way, uh, it should be more convenient. So, let me kind of figure out how I want to do this. I know there's a there is a cant or a, a tilt to the, uh, and I've been trying to find that 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 amount of tilt. In other words, how much you know? How much does the holster tilt? or can't, um, you know, you don't want it pulling, pulling straight out because it's on your side and you're trying to find a natural amount. So I don't know, I'm thinking, I was thinking about 30 degrees. Uh, so I think I'll just leave this kind of this belt out kind of as a reference while I'm trying to trace this out on here. And, uh, I really haven't given this much thought at all, and I've just kind of sat down and, and just started doing this, so um, I have no clue what I'm doing, I'm just, as always, I'm just shooting from the hip, <laughs> pardon the pun. So uh, let me see what I can do here, i got my trusty pencil, and uh,
got this board clamped down all the way across the table. And so what I'm gonna try to do now is clamp it down so that this is tied. If I can, this thick leather is really hard to work with. Okay, so what I have now are just some assorted uh, pieces of wood that are rounded on the end. I even have a wood pencil that's kind of sort of a sharp, not a sharp corner, but a relatively sharp compared to these. So what I'm going to try to do is use these to try to just mold, mold that leather. And I'm not really concerned too much about the marks I put on the leather at this point. I think I can work that out. It's kind of taking a shape around there. Oops. Hard to get these lines straight.
let that sit. And uh, give me a close up. Okay, you see what I'm trying to do? I'm just trying to form fit it. And I may not be doing this the best way. But I've got this piece clamped down all the way across the table. Just gonna keep that side nice and straight. And I'm trying to form fit this so that the trigger guard and everything fits. You can see because of the shadows that wraps around. Just have this little scrap piece of leather to protect the that leather from being imprinted with the clamp. I think what I'm going to do is clamp down the piece right here to try to keep that tight. So, oh, we'll see where it goes from here. It's almost too pretty to do anything except sit and relax.